Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. From today we are going to start a new series of economics where we will discuss about all the topics of economics chapter 1. But before going into the topic please like the video and subscribe the channel so that you can get our videos instantly. So without any further delay let's go into the topic. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the first definition of economics given by Adam Smith. And in the next parts of the series we will discuss about Alfred Marshall's and Lionel Robbins' definition. But today in this first part let us discuss about Adam Smith's definition of economics. Adam Smith 1723-1790 Scottish philosopher is known as father of economics as well as the leader of classical economist. He had published a book in 1776 named An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of Wealth of Nations. The book is popularly known as Wealth of Nation. His this book is also regarded as the Bible of economics. It explains what economics is in the study area or subject matter of economics that it covers. According to Adam Smith, economies is the study of the nature and causes of wealth of nation. It is concerned with production and increase of national wealth. Now let us discuss some of the major features of his definition. Number 1 Primary Place to Wealth In his definition he have gave primary emphasis to wealth rather than human being. According to him humans are for wealth. Wealth is not for human beings. Number 2 That is study of economic man. He have divided men into economic men and non-economic men. Economic men means those who are engaged in production of goods. And non-economic men means those who are not engaged in production of goods. Number 3 that is science of wealth. His definition explains that all the activities of human beings are only done for only earning money. The ultimate goal of our activities is only to earn money. Now number 4 that is source of wealth. Adam Smith's definition explains us that employed labor is the one and only source of national income. If there is no employed labor then there is no earning for revenue for nation. Now after the features let us see some of the major criticisms of his definition. Number 1 that is secondary place to humans. Adam Smith gave first importance to wealth and second emphasis to human being which is absolutely wrong. Because wealth is for us, we are not for wealth. Now number 2 that is no mention of human welfare. Human welfare is one of the major component of economics. Without human welfare economics has no meaning in itself. But Adam Smith didn't mention anything about human welfare in his definition of economics. Now number 3 that is unrealistic concepts of economic men. Adam Smith divided men into economic and non-economic men based on their job of production of goods which is absolutely wrong because there are millions of people who are earning money without producing anything. Now last number of criticism that is narrow scope. Most of the economists believe that Adam Smith has narrowed the scope of economics. By dividing men into two types, by giving more importance to wealth than human beings and many more. Now let us revise what we have studied in a minute. Revision. Features. Number 1 Primary Place to Wealth. Number 2 Concept of Economic Men. Number 3 Source of Wealth. Number 4 Science of Wealth. Now some of the major criticism are. Number 1 Secondary Place to Human. Number 2 No Mention of Human Welfare. Number 3 Unrealistic Concept of Economic Men. Number 4 Narrow Scope. Now let us conclude today's video by the conclusion of this video. So from this video I think all of you have understood about the definition of Adam Smith. So after analyzing this video we are conclude that Adam Smith's definition is not practically applicable and true in the present world. 
He has divided men into economic and non-economic men. He have gave primary place to wealth than human being which is absolutely wrong. So in a nutshell we can conclude that his definition suffers some serious weakness that needs to be corrected. This is it for today everyone. I thank all of you for watching the video. And I hope all of you understood the video. So give me your valuable comment in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Share the video to the friends who need this. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.